And I also think that it is just very beautiful and feminine to have that little air of mystery where you're not necessarily showing off your whole leg, you're just wearing something that does cover a bit more, but it still shows off your shape. Hello classic crew and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about 10 classic fashion rules that the royals follow. So the first thing I want to do is thank Melissa Amy for submitting this as an idea for my content pitch contest over on my Substack. If you didn't know, I have a Substack newsletter which I would love if you would join and if you do you'll get access to exclusive content. You'll be able to get two exclusive videos every single month as well as weekly articles, live streamed Q&As, and you can can submit your ideas for videos just like this one. And it all comes directly to your inbox, which is awesome. You don't have to try and remember to go to the website. It'll come right to your email. It's only $7 a month, which is a great price. But if you choose to sign up for the whole year, you'll actually get two months for free. So thank you again to Melissa Amy for suggesting a video inspired by Kate Middleton. So my mom is a huge fan of Kate Middleton. She goes onto her website, this website called What Kate Wore All the Time, to see what Kate Middleton is wearing because she has such beautiful classic style and I totally get it. I mean, I find inspiration from Kate Middleton. I love her style. I love that she always looks modest, beautiful, classic. It's just, it's such style inspo and I love it. And I really wanted to delve a little bit into the fashion rules that royals have to follow because I think that there are some that we can apply into our everyday lives and just kind of elevate become more classic, become more elegant in the way that we dress. Now, do you have to apply all of these all of the time? Absolutely not, I don't. But there are some of these things that maybe I want to incorporate into my kind of style of dressing more often. And I think that the royals have some great guidelines. If you're trying to figure out how to be modest, how to be beautiful, how to be classic and elegant, this is a really good place to start. Let's get into today's video. So number one is wear more skirts and dresses. The queen prefers them. And I do too. I personally think that wearing dresses and skirts, it's A, so feminine, so flattering, but B, it's really not all that common these days. Often you won't see women wearing dresses. We'll see women in the summer in shorts and we'll see women in the winter in pants. And I've been the only person in a dress in a store. And it's so funny to me that women don't embrace wearing dresses and skirts more often because they are so comfortable and they are really lovely. I mean, they make you look attractive. So. If if you want to look more feminine and you want to look more classic, wearing more skirts and dresses is definitely a good place to start. There are so many places you can buy great skirts and dresses. I get mine most of the time from TJ Maxx. If you guys didn't know, I shop at TJ Maxx a lot, but you can get your dresses a lot of different places. You can get them at a lot of different stores, even stores that you might think are a little too expensive. Check out the sale rack. Sometimes they have some really great sales. I know that I only ever check in the sale rack. I'm not someone who really generally buys things at full price. And you can also find them at thrift stores. I mean, dresses are just a lovely addition to your wardrobe and they will elevate your style, definitely. But there's a part two to this. The royals follow the rule that if you're going to wear skirts and dresses, it has to come to around the knee. So it shouldn't be more than three or four inches above the knee. I think it's even three inches. You want it to be longer. Now, why is this? So that you don't accidentally flash people. <laughs> and I think that's a great rule also. I used to have a few more dresses that were a bit shorter and I've really started weeding them out in favor of finding dresses that come to the knee or a little bit longer. I prefer it. I find that it, it doesn't stress me out in the same way that it's gonna ride up or that I'm gonna accidentally show someone something I don't want them to see. And I also think that it is just very beautiful and feminine to have that little air of mystery where you're not necessarily showing off your whole leg. You're just wearing something that does cover a bit more, but it still shows off your shape. So I definitely think that's a great kind of rule of thumb. If you're shopping for dresses, don't get something too short. Don't get something that shows off everything and don't get something that will accidentally show off more than you want to. And that's a great royal rule. I really like it and it's what I practice. Number two is that jeans are only allowed at casual events. I think this is a great role. I don't know why you would want to wear jeans to a fancy event. As somebody who doesn't have that many fancy events to go to, if I have a fancy event, I'm wearing one of my favorite dresses. I'm wearing something that I absolutely love and I don't get an opportunity to wear that often. I usually only wear jeans to really casual situations and I think that's a pretty good rule. I mean, if you want to wear jeans to be comfortable when you're doing something kind of 
active, that makes sense to me, right? If you're going on a hike or something, then yeah, I get it. But if you're going to a fancy event, don't do the jeans and a nice top thing. Wear a nice dress, wear a nice skirt, wear a pretty outfit. I think that that is much more classic and elegant. Number three is that colorful nail polish isn't allowed, but bare nails are. So you guys know I've had colorful nails in the past. I still enjoy them sometimes, but I think I'm kind of moving more towards having a sheer wash of kind of a pale nude color or a pinky color or something that's just a bit more natural. Now, I'll always like a red. I think a red is also very classic and elegant. But I recently got my nails done with my mom. Let's see if it'll focus. And as you can see, it's just a very light pink. I did get some flowers, which I'm guessing they're not allowed to do. But I do enjoy a very natural looking nail. And I also think that a bare nail is very pretty as long as you keep it trimmed and clean. And I think that that's a great rule. I mean, if you're wearing greens and purples and blues, which I've done, and I'm not saying it's terrible, it doesn't look as classic and elegant. And I think that having just a pretty neutral nail or a bare nail is a very classic and elegant, good rule of thumb, I mean, no pun intended. It's something that will go with everything and will just constantly make your nails and your hands look beautiful. I think maybe part of the reason they're only allowed to get lighter neutral colors is also because if it chips, you're not going to notice, which again, good rule. I mean, it's smart. So I think it's a nice idea to stick with more natural colors and I'm really enjoying my light pink nail polish. Number four is use a clutch to hide your cleavage when you're getting out of a vehicle. So I think this is a great rule. I also think it's so clever because if you're wearing a dress that doesn't necessarily show cleavage, but you bend forward, then it might end up showing more than you want to. So having a clutch that you can just kind of gracefully put over your chest when you're getting out of a car, I think that's just brilliant. I think that's so smart. It's the same thing as putting your legs together when you exit a car so that you don't accidentally flush people. I think these are great rules and they're kind of good etiquette. I also love having a clutch just for fancier events because clutches hold the right amount of stuff without being something you have to throw over your shoulder and it doesn't really look very fancy and it doesn't look very classic. So using a clutch to block your cleavage, that is just a brilliant move in my opinion. Number five is wear bright colors if you want to get noticed, like the queen. The queen often wears crazy colors when she goes out to events. It's not just like a red, she'll wear garish colors and it cracks me up. But she says that the reason she does it is because she wants to make sure that the people recognize her. And I think that's actually a great rule of thumb. If you want to go out and be noticed, wear a bright color. If you wanna catch someone's eye, wear a bright color. I'll wear a red dress if I want to stand out. I'll wear a pink dress if I want to stand out. And if I want to recede a little bit into the background, I'll wear a navy dress or a black dress, something that doesn't call as much attention. But I love that the queen has this specific rule so that she can constantly be recognized when she goes out if she wants to make sure that the people recognize her when she's out and about. And I just think that's great. So if you want to incorporate that into your life, yeah, do it. Number six is only wear wedges for less formal occasions. The queen doesn't like wedges very much, so Kate and Megan don't usually wear wedges when they're out and about. I actually agree with this. I really like wedges and they're very comfortable, but the only wedges that I wear are really casual. I wear them when I want to slightly dress up a more casual outfit. So I would never wear a wedge to a fancy dinner or event. If you're going to go to a fancy dinner event, wear a pair of heels, it just looks nicer, but wear wedges when you're just out and about or in a more casual situation. Number seven is wear pantyhose if you want to look your best. So in the royal family, they generally encourage the women to wear pantyhose all the time. So Kate does most of the time. I think this is actually a very good rule of thumb. If you want to look your absolute best, wear a pair of tights. Now, I don't personally love wearing tights, so I don't usually do it, especially if it's hot out. I'll only really wear pantyhose in the winter time. But if you want to make your legs look smooth and really just make them look attractive, wearing pantyhose is probably the best way to do it. When I was an opera singer, it was actually also a rule for us that if we went to an audition when we had to look our best, we were supposed to wear pantyhose. Wearing pantyhose when you go to a fancier event and you wanna look your best, it's always going to look nicer. Number eight is avoid fabrics that wrinkle easily. The royals don't wanna wear fabrics that wrinkle because they're going to be in photos. So it makes sense that they would avoid those kinds of fabrics. I think that's also a great rule of thumb. 
Also, because many of us don't have the time or want to take the time to steam or iron our clothing. So if you get clothes that wrinkle easily and you're constantly going to have to be fixing it and smoothing it, you're probably not even gonna wear it anyways. I suggest finding clothing that doesn't wrinkle that easily. And maybe you'll have like a couple pieces that do wrinkle, but for the most part, avoiding clothing that wrinkles, I think that's a very good rule. It means that you'll end up having clothes that do look nicer and more put together more frequently. Number nine is that heels shouldn't be too tall. Now, apparently the reason for this is that they don't want the women to wobble when they're walking. Again, something I've talked about on my channel and I agree with, and they don't want the women to appear too tall. Now, I'm not obviously sure exactly what that means, but I kind of understand it. If you're wearing a silly tall heel, I mean, you're gonna look silly. There are certain levels of heel height that just aren't great. And I think that in the royal family, they encourage women to wear a sensible heel, a heel that they can actually walk in and they're not going to be in pain. So I agree with this. This is something that I am a big proponent of. Only buy heels that you can walk in. I bought a pair of heels recently. They are a little bit high for me. They're not the most comfortable. It was not the best purchase, but I was very proud of myself because I actually wore them in my Carmen music video, which I will link here. And uh, I actually, after wearing them for about 15 minutes, it was actually easy enough for me to walk in them. So only buy shoes that you can walk in. If those shoes that I had worn in my Carmen video, I actually could not walk in, I would just have to give them away or return them. I mean, you're not going to wear them. They're going to hurt you. They're not going to be that attractive that you'll ever choose them over another pair of shoes. This is the real thing. So Yes, that is a very good rule and one that I highly recommend that you should follow. That isn't one that's like, oh, you guess you could or you couldn't, no. This is a rule that you just follow. <laughs> Number 10 is that hair should look neat and natural. So no crazy colors, no weird updos, nothing like that. And this is a rule that I think that we should all follow. I think we should not get crazy hair colors. I don't think that that looks very classic or elegant. And I don't think that we should have our hair looking really messy. I think that we should have our hair looking as nice as we can make it look and get natural color, right? So I have color in my hair, but it is, you know, it looks natural enough and it's a uh, highlights. So it's not purple or green or something like that. And I generally try to keep my hair looking neat and nice. Now there are days that I do kind of more of a beachy wave and I embrace the wave in my hair. That's not something that the Royals would ever do, but for a more casual day, okay, I can get behind that a bit more. But in general, it's always nice to have nice, clean looking hair. And I just wanted to give one little bonus rule, which is your makeup should be subtle too. This is something that the royal family feels very strongly about. They don't have crazy smoky eyes and they don't have crazy colors on their face. They really do go more subtle and natural. And I think that's generally good to do as well. I mean, I sometimes will go crazy with the eye makeup or I'll wear a red lip, but for the most part, I generally try to wear my makeup more natural, more subtle, because I think it is more attractive and you want people to actually see you, not your makeup. So that is it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought. I loved doing this video. This was a lot of fun actually. So thank you again to Melissa Amy for recommending that I do this. If you are interested in sending any ideas for my videos, make sure to subscribe to my Substack newsletter and also you'll get access to a bunch of exclusive content that you can't get anywhere else, which is awesome. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified of all my new videos. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, it's at Classically Abby absolutely everywhere. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!